These last days of summer feel wonderfully sweet, filled with golden sunshine and warm, gentle evenings that are getting noticeably shorter each day. It's the time between summer and autumn, the most nostalgic yet beautiful time. After a rainy spell in July, August came abundant with crops. I'm beginning to harvest my very few cherry tomatoes, picking bit by bit each day. Almost none of them ever end up on the table as they go straight into my mouth from the bush. Tomatoes are sweet and juicy, almost like berries. This is the second batch I've ever grown and I am now dreaming of a bigger garden to fill with all sorts of fruits and veggies one could possibly imagine. There is something so rewarding in it and only very recently I realized how much I'm enjoying the process of seeing nature come to life like that. Or, shall I say, come to the end of its life as we enter the last weeks of summer. Time flew too fast this year, and it seems it only picks up speed each day. Apples are slowly ripening, a sweet scent of plum cherries permeated through the air. Blackberry bushes are purple with berries, too soon it feels, as it seems to me as if only yesterday I picked a basket full. I ate them again from the bush, savoring every bit. The evening came with a wonderful pink sunset. And next morning, rain again. I stayed at home and decided to try a new hobby. Since I am indeed quite excited about autumn, I bought all these fragrance oils for candle making. Pumpkin spice, vanilla, coffee and cinnamon. This rainy grey day I stayed at home listening to music and making candles to keep me bright and warm in the coming darker months. I love learning new things and finding new hobbies to enjoy, and especially since the days will grow shorter very soon and going outside won't be as pleasant, finding cozy things to do in the colder season is especially necessary. And also, it is my goal to make a candle that smells like freshly brewed coffee. I find that this scent is very, very difficult to replicate, so that is a task I will have to experiment with for quite a while. I've become a little too much of a homebody lately. 
staying in the comfort of my house, doing things by hand in the quiet of my own secluded space. That's my method of coping. I haven't been feeling much like myself this summer, if I'm honest, and perhaps it's my seasonal affective disorder to blame, which persisted throughout this year much longer than anticipated. I get equally affected by the changes in seasons as when seasons don't change much at all. This sameness that happened this year in England felt a little bit daunting. The blur of gloomy winter turning into cold spring, then into rainy summer, cancelled bucket list plans, memories that weren't made. You know, sometimes when you look at things this way, at all the things that didn't happen, at all the things that didn't go according to plan, it may seem that there is nothing good to look back at at all. I tend to go into this kind of thinking too often. One negative comment could override hundreds of positive ones. One stumble on the way could make an entire journey miserable. A few months of rain make me feel like life is dreadful. But I have to remind myself over and over and over again for as long as it takes. There is goodness in this life no matter how sad it may seem at times. There is love within and out, and so many people seeking connection, seeking understanding and beauty. One rude or negative remark should not be put on the pedestal over the goodness. A few unfulfilled summer bucket list plans don't make it a bad summer. We adapt, we change, we work with what we have. We take up crafts and hobbies, spend cozy days in listening to the rain, while the smell of freshly baked bread or the cracking of the new woodwick candle adds beauty to the day. We appreciate the sunny summer days even more when there are only a few. Just because it's different from what we've imagined doesn't mean it's any worse. These last days of August are so very special. They are a prequel to an even more wonderful, adventure-filled story yet to come. A story that is autumn. But I don't want to keep rushing time. While this summer lasts, I'll keep dreaming of beauty. I will keep dreaming of flowers. Take a few of them home, dry between pages of old books. In a few months, on a dark November evening, I'll open one up accidentally and remember this time with fondness. The summer where everything came in a handful. A handful of sunny days, of ripe juicy berries that barely fit in my palm, of people I opened my heart to. It was a beautiful, memorable time. I read this quote somewhere and I want to finish this video with it. A beautiful life is not stumbled upon, it is built, it is chosen, it's nurtured over the years. I'm not going to rush it for now and simply continue making my day soft and cozy while August lasts.
Thank you for spending your time with me today, and I will see you next week.